I've managed to get my hands on the Ed Sheeran 6900. It's limited edition. It hasn't sold out yet. Why? Is it any good? Let's get into it. Yes, and welcome to the Mad Watch Collector Show. Now I'm going to put it out there right now. I am not a big fan of Hodinky. What I do love though is Casio. Yeah. And obviously G-Shock. Yeah. And that's why I'm talking about this limited edition G-Shock today. But right now, Hodinky must be doing a sort of a inquiry into finding out the reason why this 6900 G-Shock just hasn't sold. Because it's been three weeks now and the John Mayer 6900, well that's sold within a day. Anyway, before I tell you my reasons why I think this watch hasn't sold particularly well, we're going to see it, give it a good look over, plus we've got to have the worst first thoughts on this watch. So let's get on with it. Are you? Limited edition G-Shock ready! Let's go! And ladies and gentlemen, before I show you the box, I think I should show you the box in this one because with limited editions, it's part of the reason why you might want to have a limited edition G-Shock. But I've got to say a big thank you to Gavin from That Watch Guy London. He buys anything that's limited edition. I've put their channel in the description below. Please subscribe to their channel. It deserves many more viewers and subscribers than it currently has. So do me a favor by doing them a favor and tell them I sent you. Anyway, getting back to the box. And to be fair, it looks like the same substance that I wiped off my windscreen this morning. It doesn't look healthy, but it is the same artwork to go with Ed Sheeran's album Subtract. And I suppose that makes sense. But already to me, it feels like a souvenir of the album and not a standalone watch. I'm not a huge Ed Sheeran fan. I sure do appreciate his music, but maybe not enough to buy a watch that is in the style of an album of his. Anyway, two unusual things that you get with this watch. A lovely little collector's card with Ed Sheeran, Casio and Houdinki on it. Also a lovely little bit of text from John Mayer, which talks about how he bonded with Ed Sheeran. They're mates. I've got to be honest, I have been a musician in my time, but know John Mayer more for the fact that he loves his Rolex and his watches than his music. The other bit of paraphernalia you don't get with G-Shocks usually is this little bit of paper, which is almost a warning. Over time, premature wear of the printed graphics that surround the watch may occur. The premature wear is not an indication of defect in material or structural integrity. It's funny they had to add this. So let's move on to the watch and, well, it's yellow, isn't it? And it does look as though we've had a fight between a banana and a fountain pen, that's for sure. I, for one, am not a yellow fan. And to have a watch in this color, ooh, that's got to be one of the reasons why this hasn't sold out to start with. Anyway, come on, Russell. This is a 6900. I love this reference G-Shock. I've got the original that came out in the 90s. It was also the watch Tom Cruise wore in Mission Impossible 2. It's a watch that many, many soldiers have worn in the armed forces over the years. It's a proper tough digital watch. And it's got a very distinct look without it being yellow. For one, those sub dials at the top of the screen, they just represent the seconds. Also with this reference, you get a big G at the front of the case. That's your light button. Bit disappointed with that. I'll show you that in a minute. It looks as though the LCD screen has got a little tint to it just to match the fascia of that screen and the case a bit more. You can see we've got the subtract marker above those sub dials. Moving this watch around, there are certain things that you don't get with the basic original, like a metal tang buckle. And we've got this limited edition case back. This watch is limited, but of how many? We don't know. Has Hodinki made too many for the demand? Again, we don't know. This watch has got a very basic module in it, the same as the standard one in mine. We've got an alarm, countdown timer, and the stopwatch. My basic one you can get for under 70 pounds. This one is around 160 pounds. This might be another reason why they aren't selling. You've got a battery that's going to give you about six to seven years, provided you don't push the light button too often. I mentioned about the backlight and I'm a little disappointed. It must be because of the tint they've given it. The light is not very strong at all. When I compare it to my 6900, which by the way gets used all the time by my daughter in the night times, there's just no contest between the two and that is a bit... Hello. On my 
nice six and a half inch wrist and this yeah this is the 6900 it does wear bigger than the g-shock squares but i've accepted it and a lot of people out there have as well this is definitely one of my favorite g-shock references there's no doubt about that but am i ready to wear one that's yellow probably not however i'm not an outlandish type of person i'd rather go for black resin than yellow and bright colors there are many people out there that like color so i can still see it being appealing to many people but the question is is this watch a binner or a winner <laughs> So like I said, you can buy this watch, which I absolutely love, for around 60 to 70 pounds. You can get one with an upgraded module that will give you tough solar and multi-band six, which means you'll get atomic timing. That'll be around 100 pounds. But wait, hang on a minute. Get one in yellow with the same module as the basic one and pay another 60 pounds on top of that. <laughs> Actually, that's rubbish. So who the heck is this watch marketed towards? So let's do a case study of the John Mayer 6900, shall we? Here it is. And you've got to say it is an awesome looking G-Shock. The colors are magnificent and they're based on John Mayer's first Casio keyboard. And that is an amazing story. That's awesome, isn't it? That's a love story, a celebration between John and his Casios. This represents the album that Ed Sheeran has done, Subtract. So it's basically a souvenir of the album. Also, John Mayer is known to me more for having a watch that is named after him, the Rolex John Mayer, that gold Daytona with the green dial. Also, he's in his late 30s, 40s. Isn't he? An older audience that would be fine smashing away 180, 160 pounds on a G-Shock. But Ed Sheeran's audience, they are a younger demographic. Would you believe it? Probably got smaller wrists than me. And as they're still living at home with their mum and dad. Don't have a lot of readies. Certainly not enough to buy a big gaudy yellow G-Shock. And let's be fair and honest, shall we? I think the biggest reason why this G-Shock has not done as well as the John Mayer one is yellow. I mean... That's got to be the main reason, hasn't it? The watch has been out for three weeks now. You can still buy it on Casio's website as well as Hodinkee's. What we also have to do is say a big ha <laughs> ha to all those filthy flippers that bought this watch on the day of the release thinking they were going to make some money out of it. But me personally, I'd rather get the DW6900. However, Ed, if you are watching this show, I'd love to have a chat. Me, you, about Casio, hey? Don't stick with Hodinky, as they certainly don't represent the watch content I take in. Give me a call. Here it is, my wife's first views of the 6900 Subtract Limited Edition. <laughs> Excited about this. I like it. What the f I like the colors. Does look like a four-year-old's artwork piece, but I think it's funky. Well, there you go, Ed. You've got a fan there. Not sure she's a fan of your music, but she loves your banana ink stained G-Shock. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Big thanks to Gavin at That Watch Guy London. Please subscribe. If you want a bit more of the Mad Watch Collector, click there. If you want some merch, everyone loves a mug down there. But if I've got you for a few more minutes, why don't you check this bad boy out? This is beautiful. One of my favourite what um, shows this one. Yeah, this is... This is sensational, yeah, yeah. A true piece de resistance, as they say in the doodoing. Go on, click it, click, click it!